What a beautiful day in Santa Paula and a beautiful day here at the Santa Paula Hospital. I, I uh, really appreciate um, you all taking the time to join us for this celebration and uh, want to acknowledge um, that this has been the culmination of the work of a, a great team uh, and uh, multiple people's efforts. I, I want to acknowledge um, Supervisor Long and uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, our CEO, Mike Powers, uh, really appreciate you being here. Uh, our healthcare agency director, Barry Zimmerman, uh, really appreciate you being here. The Chief Medical Officer of Clinicus del Camino Real, Dr. Poar. Thank you so much for being here. And I know there's many others uh, from from uh, our team at the hospital, um, uh, from the uh, foundation, uh, and from uh, my executive uh, team. And just grateful for the work that you all have put into. Um, the upgrades to our imaging department here at Santa Paula and the many other ways in which we've seen improvements out here in the last two years, so thank you. Uh, mammograms at Santa Paula Hospital were a core part of what we did uh, when this hospital was reopened in 2006. Uh, all the way to 2014, we were doing over 2,000 mammograms a year, and uh, that's a lot of women served in the Santa Clara Valley. Um, in 2014, we lost the ability to continue doing mammograms. Uh, we were unable to, to, to uh, upgrade the equipment and uh, we were unable to provide that service uh, through our hospital. We uh, hired an outside company to come uh, uh, bring in a portable unit, uh, but we were never able to um, capture that volume of women or serve that number of women that we had served in 2000, up until 2014. And uh, we, we um, with the help of Supervisor Long, uh, developed a community support group or community advocacy group called the Santa Paula Hospital Blue Ribbon Advisory Committee meeting. And they really emphasized the value of mammogram to our Santa Clara, Santa Clara Valley community. And uh, I just have to acknowledge Supervisor Long and CEO Mike Powers' support uh, for helping us find a way forward with funding to be able to essentially bring our imaging department up to the state of art. Um, we were able to purchase a Hologic mammogram unit that a 3D mammogram with smart curve technology that's uh, not only a mammogram, it's really uh, the best mammogram in the system and, and uh, extremely comfortable mammogram for um, women. Um, and I, I just uh, rounded here on, on Monday and was impressed with how vital and how active and how busy Santa Paula Hospital is right now. Uh, we have a, an ED that's full being staffed by some of the finest uh, physicians and nurses and, and techs in our system. Uh, we have a hospital that's full. We have an OB department that's thriving. Uh, did over 20 deliveries this last uh, month and uh, really uh, see this as a chapter of, of growth uh, for Santa Paula Hospital. And uh, what we uh, want to, people to know is that we are here to serve this community. And uh, this important resource in the community is alive and well. Uh, I thought I'd end just by sharing uh, a message that we got from one of the patients who was seen here this uh, last month. Um, and I, I, I'm going to redact some of the information that's a little too um, specific. I, I don't want this uh, person to feel like they've been identified. Uh, but their, their message is, on Monday night, I was taken to the hospital. And when I was able to get a bed, the place was clean and well taken care of. All of the precautions with COVID were on the top of their priority. My nurse, unfortunately, I can't remember her name, but she was so kind, professional, supportive, and understanding. I was in pain and she clearly understood all my needs. After I left the hospital, I got a call the next day to make sure I was fine. And that really meant a lot to me. 
the day I went in, I didn't have all of my insurance information, but they took care of everything. Oh, and yes, the doctor was great. He was a sweetheart. I will never forget that Monday night going into your hospital. I was well taken care of. Thank you so much for taking care of my needs. You guys are awesome. I will forever be grateful. That's who the Santa Paula Hospital team is. That is how the Santa Paula Hospital team serves and we are here for your community. Uh, I would love to introduce um, our as Associate Chief Medical Officer and the Director of our Diversity, Equity and Inclusion efforts at our hospital, Dr. Manako Watabi, to share a few words. I was asked to come and maybe talk a little bit about um, the clinical aspects of the importance of preventative health and the importance of mammograms for women, particularly um, as it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, you know, one of the things I've noticed in the last few months, and actually in the last year or so, is that uh, many women are really behind on their preventative health. And I think the largest barrier has, has just been the role that many women play in our community. You know, women as caregivers, we're usually the last to take care of ourselves. And so there's been a lot of taking care of children, elderly, community members. Um, but when it comes to taking care of ourselves, I think as a physician, as um, community leaders, it's our job to remind women to take care of themselves and to make it as easy as possible for them to do so, so they can continue to be healthy and continue to nurture this community as, um, as we and they have always have. So I think that's always been the biggest um, obstacle for women, and I'm really excited to have a mammogram that's local to so many women. Um, the second part, I, you know, the second amount of feedback that I get about mammograms is women are a little reluctant to get their mammograms because it's not exactly the most fun experience. And, you know, the traditional mammogram is a 2D mammogram that requires, um, to say it very nicely, it requires your breasts also to be 2D, which is, which they aren't. Um, and so many women say the word um, pancake when they describe a mammogram, which is not exactly um, pleasant. Although I will say that women can endure a lot and don't do a lot of complaining. But the wonderful thing about the 3D mammogram is that it actually is curved and it actually is kind of more formed to be far more comfortable than a traditional two-dimensional mammogram. Another barrier um, is the fact that oftentimes if you get a screening mammogram, you'll get a call back to get more images. And that process is nerve-wracking and it's also you know it takes away from your work and you know it, it requires um, coordination to get back and take more images but with the 3d mammogram because of the technology um, the radiologist is actually able to to see more views from that initial screening image and so you're far less likely to be called back which I think is a great asset to, to most women thirdly um, you know the the ability to um, do a biopsy in the same site, in the same location efficiently if you have an abnormal mammogram is a really big deal. If you have an abnormal mammogram, um, the time between having that, receiving that report and the time that you get your biopsy always feels like a million years. It just feels like forever because you're wondering if you have something, you know, you're wondering if you have cancer. And so the fact that this local mammogram in Santa Paula has biopsy capabilities and is able to answer those questions about whether a suspicious lesion is cancer or not is, I think, a huge asset to the community. Um, so I would say on behalf of healthcare workers and community leaders, I think it's really important for us to make sure that we remind women to take care of themselves as, um, as they continue to be the caregivers for so many others. And second, to always take that extra step to try to make it easier for women to take care of themselves and not have to travel across towns, freeways to get to a mammogram or to get other preventative um, health. So thank you so much to everybody that contributed to the opening of this mammogram. It's a wonderful contribution to the community. I know my patients are incredibly happy and excited about it. So thank you.
next i'd just like to welcome up supervisor kelly long who's been just a tremendous supporter of this hospital and and the the work that we're doing here and truly grateful for all that you've provided for us as we've tried to make santa paula hospital stronger and and provide the care the community needs thanks because I am so honored, so honored by all of you standing here today. The efforts that you did to bring this program, whew, sorry. Okay, hi, Supervisor Long here. I don't normally cry, but uh, this is just huge for our community. For having a mammogram here for Santa Clara Valley, to not have it here since 2014 just breaks my heart. All the moms that need to be taking care of their family, all the moms that have had to deal with breast cancer and had to go far, um, this is local. We are bringing health care locally. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just, just as I'm so proud. There was not a time that said, Kelly, we don't have the money or we can't figure it out. The Blue Ribbon Committee that we brought together heard our community say, we needed a mammogram here. We needed a CT scan here. And we figured it out. It wasn't the easiest. The machines are different. The technology, the rooms, the darn licensing, and all the other stuff that goes on here. Um, we got through that. And we brought the mammogram to our community so that our moms, our women, can rest easier knowing if they have breast cancer, that they can get the um, information quickly and they can get the, the um, services they need quickly. And what's here today uh, is just huge. Uh, we are doing presentations around the cities and on our Blue Ribbon Committee. We're doing this live so that people can really know about this. And we're also doing this in a COVID-friendly way because we're here at the hospital. We want to keep everyone safe and healthy and so any, anything that we can do to make our community's uh, well-being the best we can, we're devoted to that. So I wanted to say thank you. I, um, Dr. Frank Hauser, I just wanted to provide you with a certificate for the mammogram. And I'll put my mask on and hopefully you can't see that it's still teared up. <laughs> and just thank you very much. so many people who spent hours and hours uh, working on making Santa Paula Hospital a, a good place that serves patients uh, the best. And, and I know that Santa Paula, we stand on some, some broad shoulders. Santa Paula Hospital has done this for years. Uh, Larry Villa, uh, who, who has uh, set uh, this program up and so many of the programs up for Santa Paula Hospital, uh, was born here. Uh, and I just think that's a tremendous tremendous reflection of the role of this hospital in the community. So thank you be, for being here, Larry, and for all that you've done. And with that,
that, I would just uh, like to um, ask that you would stick around for a chance to take some images uh, and uh, want to once again express my deep, deep gratitude uh, for what you've done for Santa Paula Hospital and for being here to help us celebrate this uh, momentous occasion. Thank you all.